Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be recreating Miss Taylor Swift's iconic Eras Tour stage makeup. I'm super excited about today's video and if you want to see how I recreated her iconic look today, then you're in the right place. Are you ready for it? Y'all, before we get started, you have to see this dress. It is so sparkly. I feel like a mirror ball. As with any good transformation recreation, we are going to start with my base today. So first I'm going to just spritz my face with the Nomad Air Face Mist. This is literally one of my favorite skincare products. I'm obsessed with it. And then I'm just going to go over that with my Coats Triple Moisture Water Cream. This is one of my favorite bases for dry skin doing makeup. It is so lightweight and it soaks into the skin so quickly. Rip. Okay, moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some primer. This is my Fenty Pro Filter. I can't remember which one this is. It's the Instant Retouch Primer. This is just a very light primer. I know Miss Tay over here probably uses a little bit more of a heavy duty primer, but because I'm not planning on going anywhere, this is what we're using. I also forgot, I will insert the inspo pics right here. I just went to Pinterest and searched Taylor Swift Airs Tour makeup and this was the best one that I could find that captured both the eyes and the lips and the face, like all the stuff. I should have done this at the beginning of the video. We'll put Mother Swift up top so we can see her in all her glory. It looks like she has a little bit of coverage going on. I'd say like medium to full coverage foundation. So I'm going in with my NARS Longwear. This is the shade Vienna. And I'm hoping it still looks good on me today because this is my summer color and it is not summer. I'm just going to take that on a sponge. I feel like she has more of an emphasis on her base and lips rather than her eye makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my base first and get that look in snatched. And as always, I will put all the products that I used in today's look down in the description box. So if you are curious or I forget to mention something, it is always down there for your viewing pleasure. For concealer, it does look like she does not necessarily a very sparkly highlight, but more of like a natural contourish highlight. So I'm going into my KVD Locket Concealer. This is the lightest concealer I own. It's in the shade L1. And believe it or not, when I lived in the Midwest, this was my shade. And um, as you can see, it is definitely not my shade anymore. I'm just popping a couple dots of that underneath my eyes, and then I'm blending that out with the pointy end of my sponge just to kind of give more of a natural highlight to under my eyes. I'm about to change your life and how to get that silky smooth finish every single time you do your makeup. If you're using a pressed powder, this is my Sephora Micro Smooth, use a powder puff. If you're using a loose powder, use a brush. That will give you the silky smooth finish every single time. I'm not even kidding, you're gonna need to try that. I'm just popping this powder right on top of the concealer to set it. I just don't want it to crease on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that before I do anything else. Let's go ahead and switch our focus to eyes. It does look like she has a little bit more of a natural brow in her photos. You can't really tell in a lot because of her bangs. I typically go pretty dark with my brows, but I do have the Benefit Goof Proof and the Precisely My Brow, both in a light brown shade, which I think is the lightest shade I have in my drawers. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in just a touch. I already have very light brows and it looks like she just kind of draws in a tiny bit. There isn't a ton of significant definition to them. So I'm just gonna kind of go for that soft brow look. Going in first with the Goof Proof. Now touching up with the Precisely My Brow just to add a couple individual hairs. And I'm using my handheld mirror because I'm actually blind and can't see the mirror that's not even a foot from my face. For my research for eyes, she uses the Pat McGrath Divine Rose Palette, which I do not have, but I do have the Natasha Denona Retro. And this one is very similar vibe-wise, so I do think I could recreate a pretty close look using this palette. So this is what I'm going to tap into. And then for eye primer, I'm just gonna pop on a little bit of Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's a holy grail. Normally I set my eye primer, but for today's look, I don't think we're going to because I want that glitter to pop right on the lid. In all of my inspo picks, it looks like it's a little bit more of a mauve look. So I think I'm actually going to go into Andy, which is this kind of cream to powder mauve. And I'm just gonna pop that in my crease. I think that will be a very good starting point. I'm just taking an Urban Decay Naked brush. I have a freak ton of these. Oh, that's pink. 
we're just gonna kind of blend that really good. From the photos I saw, it looks like it's a very soft, smoky eye. So I'm just going to kind of make sure all of this product stays on the outer corners of my lid. I'm not really gonna go in at all. This is all staying in the crease and mostly on the outer part of my crease. I'm also gonna go into Nude Mauve right at the bottom. This is just a really nice taupe color. I'm gonna take that on a bit of a fluffier brush and I'm just gonna go over all of that because I do feel like the mauve was a little bit purple and the goal was not purple. I'm really hoping this doesn't look like I just bruised my eyes because that would be very embarrassing. For the lid, it looks like there's just a little bit of sparkle. So I'm gonna go in with Psychedelic, which is this middle shade. And this is such a pretty shade. Normally I will use my finger, but I do have some eye primer on my eyelid still. So I'm just going to take my brush and tap it right where I didn't put any shadow where the primer is. Did I just save this look? I think I did. I think I just saved this whole look. It doesn't look like there's a lot going on for the lower lashes. So I'm gonna just go into Nude Mauve, which is that taupe. And I'm just going to very lightly brush that on the outer corners of my lower lashes. I'm just doing this as a personal preference to blend it all together. But in the photos, it doesn't look like she has very much, if anything, going on in the lower lashes. And the last thing I'm gonna do before we do some liner is I'm gonna go into Mod, which is this bright white. And I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner. It's just a matte white. And I think that will be the perfect inner corner touch to today's look. And of course we can't forget about Taylor's signature wing. So we're gonna do a wing. She definitely goes for that very classy feminine look. So I'm gonna try and do a very delicate wing. I'm actually so impressed that this took me only a minute to do both wings. I'm gonna pop back over to the base and I'm gonna start with my ABH contour stick. This is the shade Fawn, I believe. I'm just gonna put that in my contour spots. I'm also gonna put a little bit underneath my chin right in the corners because she does have a little bit more of a narrow face than I do. And to kind of just really sell the look as if contouring my chin will make me look exactly like Taylor. I'm gonna make sure this is all blended super, super well. Fun fact, whenever Taylor comes out with a new album, I always recreate the album makeup for launch day. I'm going over all my contour spots with my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer just to add in a little bit of warmth. Like I said, when I pulled up the inspo photos, I don't think there's a very distinct shimmery highlight effect, but I do feel like there's still some natural highlighty glow going on. So I'm actually going to go into my Pat McGrath and Bridgerton blush. This is the shade Nymphette right in the middle, and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I think that will be really pretty just to give like a natural glow without it being too overly shiny. And it doesn't look like she does a ton of blush. I personally like to blush almost my entire face, but it looks like she just does kind of like a C shape. And just for my own sanity, I'm just gonna pop a little bit on my nose because y'all know I can't not have blush on my nose. I'm just gonna pop off camera to finish off the eye look with some mascara and then we'll be back for the iconic red lip. It's just a little tedious to curl lashes on camera, am I right? Now it's widely known that Taylor uses a very specific red lipstick from Pat McGrath. I do not own this lipstick. I've tried to get my hands on it forever, but God knows it's like $50 and it's always sold out. So I instead have Christian Louboutin lipstick that I was so graciously sent in PR forever ago. So we are going to use this shade of red with a ColourPop and Hocus Pocus lip liner. Taylor does a very soft heart-shaped lip. She has naturally a very pretty defined cupid's bow. So as someone that does not have a defined cupid's bow, when I recreate her lip looks, normally I will over-define my cupid's bow. All right, friends, this is the final Eras Tour makeup look complete. What do we think? Do we think we did Tay justice? Do we not? I personally think like we nailed it. Honestly, her look is super, super simple and easy to recreate. So I think all skill levels will be able to recreate such an iconic look. And I'm ready to watch the Eras Tour movie on Disney Plus from the comfort of my couch. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe before you leave and let me know whose iconic look I should recreate next. And with that, I will see you guys all in the next one, my friends.